Julie from the Heart of Feather Heart Temple YouTube site. It's 8-2-2017. About five years ago, I ran across a documentary called Guys and Dolls. It was about guys having sex with life-size dolls. After I watched the documentary, which was very hard to get through for me, I realized that eventually they were going to be using dolls as a form of therapy for pedophiles and as a way of normalizing pedophilia. Lo and behold, I found an article and I'm going to include it in the description bar below so that you can go to the article yourself and read it. Now, I believe the article is out of the UK, but a lot of times they introduce things in the UK that they're going to be doing here later. The article suggests that pedophiles should receive a prescription for a doll, a doll to molest, instead of a real human being. Now, if somebody gets a prescription for a dolly, who's going to pay for that? Now, if it happens here in the States, is the American taxpayer going to be paying for their dollies? It's just another way, again, of normalizing pedophilia. Whoever they are, they are very clever at what they do. And it's also going to normalize necrophilia. They want every moral boundary destroyed. I've said that before over and over again and we can't let them do it. It's a very, very sick way of thinking, their way. There's only one thing that will stop a pedophile from raping a child because everyone sees a child as an opportunity. Have a beautiful day, beautiful people.